Hello, I'm Yona Zhang in Gaia 3D. Uh, I introduced the process of giving service using beta type for displaying C surface wind data. Oh. Okay, <sighs> the presentation is as follows. Uh, first, uh, I will te tell why I used vector tie and describe what is the vector tie. Next, I will introduce the information and process necessary to ex actually build a service. Finally, I will show the live demo. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, wind data is very complicated because there are wind direction and wind speed. Wind direction is three dimensional data, so adding speed, there are four dimensions for, uh, to this uh, represent. But uh, this screen is displayed in two dimension. Uh, so four dimensional data cannot be represented on the screen by itself, uh, so must be divided into two dimensions. Generally, like left picture, uh, one factor represented. Uh, however, like uh, right picture, you can represent both of the data at once by coloring the vector of, of the wind bobs. Okay. Oh. This is <laughs> this is the first method that I used. Uh, there is a lot of data that needs to be displayed, so I chose the tiling method using Bans, uh, Bans surface interpolation. But the result of interpolation covered over land and rotated wind symbols seems to be crashed. <laughs> So uh, to solve this problem, I use the vector tie method. Okay. Uh, uh, as you know, I briefly introduced about vector tie. Vector tie is, is to think of as dividing and storing vector data into ties. Uh, there is no raster images, only pre-generated vector data which, which I presented on requested area. Uh, those maps elements which overflows current tile are cut with a certain offset, which is essential when connecting tile together. Okay. Okay. MVT format use Google protocol buffers. As an encoding format, protocol buffer doesn't consider kind of languages preference by uh, processing or uh, serializing the structured data. Uh, the vector tie represents data based on squared extent within a projection. A uh, vector tie should not contain information about its bound and projection. A uh, uh, vector tie. <coughs> Sorry, this format assumes that the code knows the bounds and projection of the vector type before decoding it. Uh, web Mercator is projection of reference, and the Google type scheme is the type extent compa uh, convention of comp uh, reference. They provide the one to one relationship between specific geographical area. At specific level of detail and pass like this. Z, X, Y. <laughs> okay. Now, I pray about the data that I used first to ask at B. Uh, the resolution is 12.5 uh, kilometers. Uh, regular data with latitude, longitude, date, time, speed, direction. Uh, direction, okay. Uh, de <laughs> detail specs. Okay. Uh, second, oh, uh, uh, wind set. This resolution is uh, like this, <laughs> okay. And details, okay. Uh, final, uh, last scar set. Spec is like this. Okay. Uh, this is the developed environment, JDK 
8, Spring 4, Maven Zero Tools, uh, Mapbox, Vector Tie, Java, uh, Open Layers. Okay, this okay, this page has a list of vector tie git projects. I will find the library in Java on this page. It's good to be able to select library your project environment. Okay. The requirements are as follows. Uh, as shown, each file needs to hold the time stamp and the data projected into the custom projects and files are merged into the tiles for 12 hours regardless of uh, processing time of the, the uh, files. Oh. <sighs> Let's calculate. <laughs> as as you can see, it's huge number because you have to merge the data accumulated in 12 hours. So what is happen if you render this data directly? It's too hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the overall follows is as follows. Uh, <coughs> Coordinate transformation is performed by reading the coordinate, uh, calculate the bound of the tile, and find the point contain the file, a tile, uh, encode the, the file in MVT format styled in form of a wind box and display it. Uh, I will explain how to calculate bound of the buffer and skip data based on zoom level. Okay. The uh, the first problem is rendering problem at the higher zoom level. To solve this, I select the method skip data as zoom level. Uh, the way to skip is like this. Uh, calculate the resolution length of this spread picture and get the interval unit with this value. Uh, for example, I will explain it uh, with the table. Uh, I calculate interval unit by dividing the real distance among the uh, wind bobs into the resolution of the data. I get the length of the tire by using this interval so I could decrease the tie size more than 10, 10 times. Okay. Uh, solving one problem leads to another problem. The label data has been skipped. So I saved the label data by dividing from the wind data. If the rendered feature is overlapped on the several ties, uh, the, the dead feature is cut. Uh, I, as I mentioned, uh, at the vector type spec part, uh, I need the uh, data of features like this connect its ties. To solve this, I need to give the buffer around the tie. Okay. The following is example code provided by the library. Uh, the example buffer the tie size multi multiplied by 0 0.1. Okay. Uh, I found the source code for utility of a conversion between ties and coordinate in MapTyler site. So I reused the code with the global MapTyler the file code, the changes are TMS origin and projection. Okay. Uh, this is a tie grid functions. Calculate the resolution of a target zoom level. Calculate the, uh, uh, the coordinate is the meter x, y, z. Uh, calculate meter coordinate from the pixel x, y, z. 
calculate boundary of the tile XYZ in meters, uh, calculate the boundary of buffer tile XYZ in meters. Uh, at the first trial, I uh, iterated through the set of the ties, but it took um, too long memory capacity and execution time. So I changed the set of the ties to set of the points. Uh, at the second trial, I tried to make the hierarchy structure from the bottom of the top, but applying data intervals is very difficult, so I mixed up both of the methods. Uh, on the basis of uh, points, I iterate point and check the each of the ties, whether the uh, points hit the buffer of the tile. Uh, if we uh, match it, then save the tile index and geometry. I oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I used open layer spectral tile layer. Note that the uh, tile pixel ratio value is the extent divided by tile size, uh, which is set by default in MVT layer param class and can be changed, okay. So let's live demo, <laughs> start live demo. Second background satellite image. Okay. Uh, oh. 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 Thank you for my listening to my presentation. If possible, please email questions. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there any web page where we can see this working? Uh, oh. Oh. I don't think so. Uh, she's my colleague, and I'm going to answer to your question on behalf of her, but I don't think so. Because uh, this, uh, our client is Korea Meteorological Agency, and they have a Korea Meteorological Satellite uh, Center, and this is only for the internet users. So uh, you can't access the site, but. Uh, uh, other officers from Korea Meteorological Agency can access this site and enjoy that. Yeah. <coughs> so, please, uh, questions?
Thanks. Um, do you, is it frustrating that uh, the source that you're using only has uh, incomplete data for uh, the, the wind speeds? Yeah. Do, do you understand? So the, the data you have seems to have strips. It's not yeah. co it's not complete. So is that is that frustrating? Is it, does that cause a problem in to be usable? She's working on that. Okay. Yeah, there are lots of lots of problems regarding the data, and she's working on that. The contract is not finished. Yeah, yeah. Any more questions? Yes. Nina, I'm, I'm scared. Okay, we're talking about wind speeds and you were talking about air balloons. I'm, I'm worried about what can happen here. Yeah, I might put these air balloons on this data, no? Uh, <laughs> so, how, what is the update frequency of the points? Do they real-time update? Uh, does it change? Is it static? Real-time oh. update. Oh, this data is... Okay. Uh, this data is three minutes updated. So your points change every two minutes? Yes, yes. Oh, cool. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> we still have some time for more questions. Have another for me? <laughs> if that's fine for everybody else. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm, because I've done work in the aviation industry, I'm familiar with the, the wind barbs uh, method. Uh, have you looked at other ways of depicting wind? So for instance, in uh, television weather forecasts, there is often a, a very smooth, animated uh, way of showing wind. And uh, it, it's a very famous website now, but if anyone hasn't seen it, there's a website called earth.nullschool.net which comes up with a, a non-GIS visualization of wind, but it's, it's just it's mesmerizing, it's really beautiful. Um, so I don't know if you, your project could consider th that type of visualization. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I consider it. <laughs> okay. The main use of this system is uh, uh, forecasters in Korea meteorological agencies. So they want a professional <laughs> standard and the system. So they do not want that kind of animated uh, vectors or other things. Yeah, that's very cool, but uh, they are professional guys, so they want to analyze point by point and then uh, region by region. That's why they just prepare these kind of things. Okay, so any more questions? If there are no more questions, I would like to thank you for coming to FOS4G. This is the first presentation at Phosphor G. You did wonderful. Thank you very much.